Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi and today I'm going to do an unboxing for fan cells. And this is all stuff that I purchased with my own money. They did not send this to me. Um, and I, so I just wanted to show you what I got and just do a quick little review, uh, first impressions. And when I complete some of these projects, I will do a post review video. I have never ordered from fan cells before. I have seen other channels doing unboxings and reviews on fan cells. And so I was intrigued by what I saw other people buying. And so I wanted to try them out and just kind of see what the deal was. They are a more budget friendly company, which I think is great because I believe that diamond painting should be accessible for everybody regardless of uh, what your style preference is, whatever um, price range you're most comfortable with, or however you want to order your diamond paintings. I just think it's cool that there's so many different options out there. So I have seen uh, several different people order from fan cells. I love to watch Joan Diamond Paints and uh, also Lovecraft Forever um, and, and a lot of different people who I watch have ordered from fan cells and done videos. So um, a couple things on here I saw other people ordering and then a couple things are just stuff that I picked out because I liked. Um, one thing that is unique for me um, that I have not done before is I ordered a cross stitch project. Now, I have done one cross stitch project one other time in my life, and it was a long time ago, and it was a pattern that I ordered on Etsy and like downloaded, and I did it without really knowing how to cross stitch, but it was something that I made for somebody as like a custom thing and it turned out really cool I think I did a good job but uh, thinking about it now I don't really remember like how I did it or how it worked so I'm going to have to brush up on <laughs> cross stitch and how to do it but um, I wanted to try it I just got a really cute picture that I thought would be somewhat easy for sort of my first try at this um, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go, but I ordered something that I thought would be little and kind of easy. Um, you can't really tell how cute the picture is here because the resolution is not very good, but I will try to insert the picture that was on the website because it was much cuter <laughs> on the, the picture on the website, but it's this cute, like, I don't know, like lemonade, strawberry lemonade. <laughs> in a glass uh, with fruit all around it. So, uh, from what I understand, this is a canvas that has the pattern printed on it and then it comes with all the threads. So let's pull this out and take a look. Oh, and it actually does come with the needles. I did not realize that. So this, there's a little pom-pom in here with the needles and a couple little tools. <laughs> I don't know the proper names for these. Uh, like I said, this is going to be the, um, basically the first time I've done something like this project. So, so here's our canvas and of course it doesn't look like the picture yet because we don't have any of our uh, threads on there. Here's the guide that tells us what to do. And there are some instructions on there, but it's pretty tiny. <laughs> it's pretty tiny. Cool. So let's take a look at the floss that comes in here. I'm very excited to do this. I don't know when I'm going to have time to do this. Probably after the new year, honestly, because I have lots of diamond painting projects going on. I 
just move this stuff to the side. So these are very soft. This uh, floss is very nice and soft. I gosh, I'm hesitant to unravel it all because I don't want to get it tangled up. But it's very nice and soft. It feels like it's good quality. The colors are really pretty. So I'm not going to unravel it all because I'm going to put it right back in the bag. But that's the color palette we're working with. The, it is mainly pink and green in the color palette, but there are some pops of color, like some yellow in there. So it's going to be really cute. I can't wait to work on this. Um, I do think it will take me a while to sort of relearn <laughs> how to do cross stitch. And since I've only really done this once, um, I think it will be, there'll be a learning curve obviously, but I will show um, how it turns out <laughs> once it's done. But like I said, that will probably be in the new year. So let me just set this to the side and make more room for the rest of the stuff. So, okay. Couple of off canvas things that I got. I got a couple of notebooks. I really wanted to try these. I have been loving these sort of like non-canvas items and especially anything that has special drills on them. So this first one I got is this lovely floral pattern. And I got this one just to use it as a journal. Let's pull it out of the bag here. It comes with just the good old green boat and pink pen and wax. Here's our diamonds. So it's just a really pretty floral pattern. Lots of special shaped diamonds on here. Inside the book, there's just some nice blank pages. I like that they are an off-white color. I think there's a hundred pages in here, I want to say, is what the description said. So it is a thin notebook, but I like it. It's a bit warped from shipping, and one corner kind of is bent. But I'm wondering, maybe I can put like a heavy book on it and kind of flatten it a little bit. All right, let's look at the diamonds. <laughs> Okay. Okay. These yellow ones are really pretty. They have kind of an AB coating on them. They're very shiny. There's some green crystal rhinestones. Yellow uh, crystal rhinestone. Orange. These, I love these crystal rhinestones that have sort of an AB finish on them. There's some teardrop shaped ones. There's an odd uh, shape one in there too. Ooh, these are pretty, these blue teardrop shaped. Oh, look at those. Those are beautiful. <laughs> and then the orange segments. <laughs> Remind me of oranges. <laughs> so that will be really pretty. A fun little side project to do. I just love these little projects to do um, in between while I'm working on the big canvases. I like these little projects. They take like an hour or less to do and then it's nice because then you can actually finish something in a day <laughs> whereas the big canvas you know it takes a long time so there's that one this next one um, is actually one that I got I think for my mom as long as it looks cute enough so we'll take it out of the package and look 
Um, and I'll explain what the symbol is on the front in case um, anybody doesn't know what it is. Sorry for the crinkling. So the problem with these videos is there's lots of plastic wrap, unfortunately. So, on the front of this book, they have a picture of the Union Jack, which is um, the flag for the United Kingdom. Oh my goodness, let me get this out. Okay, it is really banged up. Uh, that kind of is a bummer. It's really banged up, and I was gonna give this as a gift, so now not so sure that I'm gonna do that because it's really marked up on the back. That's not cool. So, um, but can I flatten it maybe? I don't know. Um, I was going to do this as a Christmas present, but uh, now I'm rethinking it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so, okay, it's got the Union Jack on the front, and then it says LFC, which stands for Liverpool Football Club, and the bird on here is actually the liver bird, which is the symbol for Liverpool, which is where my family is from, and um, they are all big Liverpool football <laughs> fans, and so... I was going to decorate this for my mom. I thought she would like to have this as a notebook. Um, it has the same kind of pages as the other one. Maybe I will do this one. Some of the pages are like crinkled too. Maybe I'll just make this for her and not give it to her necessarily as a gift, but just say, hey, I made this <laughs> for you. Uh, and the, you know, it's not necessarily a gift, but I made it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it doesn't, you know, it's a partial, the rhinestones are just going to go along here and then in the bird. So it only looks to have three colors. Um, I liked the pattern of it because the Union Jack in the background is like distressed or like vintage looking. So it'll be cute. You know, I think I'll still make it for her and give it to her, but not Necessarily just as a Christmas present, but just like as a, here, I made something for you. Don't mind the back. It's a little crinkled. <laughs> so, um, but she likes journals and stuff, so I thought this would be cute. So, let's take a look at the crystals. These are all cr uh, crystal rhinestones. Like I said, there's only three colors. So the bird will be these um, translucent type crystal rhinestones. On the outside of the Union Jack, it will be like these gold yellow. And then on the inside of the Union Jack will be the red. So it'll be a super simple project um, that I can get really done quick. <laughs> cannot talk that I can get done really quickly. Um, so that'd be cute. I'm just kind of bummed that it's so like crunched <laughs> on the back is all. So, okay, let's move this to the side. All right. All righty. So let's get into the on canvas stuff. Uh, let's do this one first. So this is one that I ordered for summertime um, that I will either put on my front door or maybe um, out by my pool area. It is kind of a small one. I wish I would have grabbed my tape measure to actually measure this. Actually, let me see if I have one near. We've got a tape measure. Let me just roll this out and kind of try to flatten it a little bit. Okay. This is crunched up quite a bit because of the way it was rolled up, but um, it might be another one I have to iron. Ugh. Um, so it is this cute pineapple picture and the pineapple is kind of like cheetah print. <laughs> 
I'll try to insert a picture of what it actually looks like because it doesn't quite give it justice when you're looking at the drill field like this, but it says, welcome summer. It's got tropical flowers around the pineapple and then this really pretty like teal and white striped background. And I just thought it would be a cute thing um, to put like up on my door or maybe by the pool as just sort of a summer decorative thing. Um, let's see, the size of this one is, it is a 30 by 40, but we'll measure it and see. <laughs> let's see if I can try to, I'm never very good at this. I'm not your perfect crafter. <laughs> Probably never will be. See, look, I already crinkled it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll try to put a picture in um, just to show what it looks like on the website. Yeah, it says, welcome summer. Let's see if I can zoom out a bit. Nope, that's as far as it's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at the drills so this is a round oh I was going to measure it too um, so it's round diamonds okay so the full width of the canvas is mm, just a little shy of 30 the length is just a little shy of 40. <laughs> it is not quite there. And then the actual drill field, see this is where they get you. The actual drill field is the length of it is about 35 and then the width is about 25. So hopefully everything will show up nicely once it's diamond painted. Um, I hope that like the pattern of it will look nice. Um, the symbols I feel like are clear. They do have dark guide circles around them. So hopefully the drills <laughs> will cover those up. Let's take a look at the drills. Sorry again for tinkling. I really, really love these teal colors that are going to be in the background. There's lots of bright greens. And then I love these like pinky corally colors. So the symbols on the drill field are letters, uh, letters and symbols, and there's 25 colors total, which is pretty good, I feel like. Um, 25 colors seems like a good amount, so I'm hoping this turns out nicely. When this is done, I will certainly either post a picture on my community tab or um, include it in a post review video. So there's that one. Okay, let's put this to the side, give ourselves some more room for these. Some of these are going to be a bit bigger. Okay, let's do this one first. All right, this is a mandala. 
and um, this one is a partial. I kind of just ordered this one because I was curious to see how it would turn out. It has special drills on it. It's a partial. I don't have one like this, so I thought it would just be fun to do. All of these, of course, you know, come with the good old green boat <laughs> and pen. I save the pens and make new pens with them. And I have been using these to pour sealer in and um, or paint in other craft projects and then toss them, um, which I feel like is better than just tossing them and not using them for anything. So this came in over the weekend. It's currently Monday morning and I was really excited to open this all weekend, but I had a lot of stuff going on. Like um, I had to go to a Christmas party and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I just want to open this. So. Just trying to get this a little bit more straightened up. I hate how they roll everything up like this. And then you have big creases on it. I just really don't care for that. And it's not um, specific to fan cells. There's just a lot of companies that do this. Okay. All right, let's take a look. So it looks very beautiful. It looks very colorful on the chart here. So there are 13 colors and many of these are going to be special shapes, which I'm excited for. I'm just obsessed with special <laughs> shapes right now. And uh, so it is partial. So all of the white space around here is not going to have any diamonds on it. It's just the mandala part that will have diamonds. So I'm thinking about, well, or this is what I thought in my head when I ordered this, was that I would cut out the mandala shape and just cut all of this white space out. And then it will be like off the canvas, it'll be like a special shape. Um, let me know if that's a good idea or not. Because <laughs> I don't know if it will fray then if I do that or what. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave it alone. Maybe I should just put it in a frame. Um, not sure. So, so the size is 30 by 30. Let's check it out. So it is just shy of 30. Let me see if it can get the camera. They say 30, but He's a little bit shy of 30. <laughs> and let's check this way too. Oh, that's right on 30. <laughs> that way. So not quite square. <laughs> and then the drill field is a little bit hard to tell because it's all white. But let's go from like the mandala, uh, the tip of the mandala to the other side. It's about 24 centimeters. And then I'm guessing this is gonna be about the same. Yep, 24 that way. So the actual drill field is about 24 by 24 centimeters. So let's take a look at our beautiful gems. I think this one will be fun to make. Just because I'm loving the special drills and I think it'll go quick as well. So it'll be a fun little project. So we've just got some crystal rhinestones. Sorry, I hope I didn't fly through that too fast. <laughs> there. We've got more crystal rhinestones.
Ooh, look at these. Okay. Sorry. Special stones there. A really nice blue AB. Teardrop shape. Some nice big pink rhinestones. These are pretty. These are an AB. Um, I forget what shape this is. <laughs> I always forget the technical terms for these things. A nice blue rhinestone, light blue, aqua. Ooh, look at those. So yeah, I think, oh, look at these gold ones. Metallic gold trail there. That's going to be really, really pretty. So I think, is that number 13? Yeah. So 13 is going to go on the outside of these, on these points. That's going to be really pretty. Those nice big blue ones, I think, are going to be there. So that's going to be really pretty. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so uh, we'll put this one to the side. Okay, all right, moving on. We just have two left here. I did order these on um, the Black Friday sale that they had on their website. So that was the sort of the last weekend of November. Um, right. And then, yeah. And then these were delivered on the, uh, 17th of December. So not too bad shipping wise, you know, they are coming from overseas, so it is going to take a while. So let's do this one and then we'll save the big one for last. Okay, this next one I ordered because, so I was watching Joan, uh, Joan Diamond Paints, and she had, in an older video, she had a really cute Pikachu uh, painting that she did, and it was Pikachu with a coffee, and I think it was like maybe a Starbucks cup, and she got it on fan cells, and um, she linked to it, but they don't sell that one anymore and I looked all over and I could not find anywhere um, that they had that one but I did find this one and so I got it I love Pokemon and I love Pikachu so I had to get one so let's roll this out I hope it ends up being cute um, the one she had was really really cute and I love coffee and I love Pikachu. So I wanted that one, but uh, it wasn't in the cards. <laughs> so, alrighty. This <laughs> is so cute. It's a picture of Pikachu in a glass of uh, lemonade. <laughs> so it's really cute. It's got him, he's got like some fruit here and he's got some little Pikachu buddies in here. Look, oh my God, so cute. <laughs> um, so it's very blue and very yellow, <laughs> um, but I think it's going to be really, really cute. And um, I thought this one would be good for summer as well because it is just very bright and summery and it's got like this fruit in here. It's gonna be so cute. Um, let's take a look. So the size is 40 by 50. There are 23 colors. And let's measure. Let's see. So that is about 35 um, for the drill field. So if we look at the whole thing. It is 40 that way. Okay, let's look this way. And okay, so the whole thing is sorry, you can't really see that. Is 50 
for the whole thing, but if we're looking at the drill field, sorry, if we're looking at the drill field lengthwise, it is about 45. So, here's my Pikachu picture. I was thinking I want to get, um, <clears throat> have you seen the pen that has the fruit in it? Like, it kind of looks, it's like this style pen on, you can get them on Amazon or any of the other sort of like budget-friendly sites, but it's like this, but it has the fruit pieces in it. I want to get that pen um, to go with this picture because <laughs> I think that'd be so cute. Like, he's in this, like, fruity drink, and I thought that pen would be perfect for this picture so it's so cute I had to get him so if I ever find the Pikachu coffee picture though I will definitely get that one as well <laughs> so we'll take a quick look at our diamonds here um, they're in the Ziploc bags which I appreciate very much so they look pretty we won't go through, you know, color by color or anything like that, but let's just take a look here. Lots of blue green colors. They're all rounds. Nice. Let's find the yellow for the Pikachu. What color is he? J is 12. So he's going to be like this color. It's a very light butter color. So I hope this turns out okay because Pikachu is bright yellow. This is more of a muted yellow. So I hope this turns out okay. <laughs> um... What color is the orange? So, kind of a mixture of L and J. L is 10, so this one here. Okay, well, we'll see how he turns out. I hope it's cute. <laughs> I hope it's cute. So, I'll definitely, again, post pictures or do a post review video when these are done. I hope I get to do him, um, you know, by the summer, because I feel like this is a good summer picture. So, I don't know what I'll do with this one. I don't know, like, if it'll get hung up or if it will end up, you know, just going in my book or whatever, but it's very cute. <laughs> very cute. So let me put this to the side. All right, we just have one more that I'm very excited for, and I actually got the idea to order this one from Lovecraft Forever, Natalia, um, on her channel. She always orders such interesting paintings. I really like her channel, and she ordered this one, and it looked super cool, and she showed what it looked like finished as well. And it looked really cool, so I was inspired <laughs> to get it. So let me try to roll this out. I don't have one quite like this either. So I'm very excited. This one is big. It is a 50 by 80. And I think if I remember correctly, you actually could choose um the size of this and you could choose so the size of the canvas and i think you could choose between squares and rounds i want to say i'll have to go back and look and double check that but i think you could actually choose and i cho i chose rounds um for this so I'm just rolling and rolling and rolling here so you already Saw it a little bit. Okay. It is this really, really pretty fairy castle, flower castle. 
I think it is called Flower Castle on the website. So I'm not going to be able to get this all in one shot here um, because it is very large. Again, it's 50 by 80 and it's this big fairy castle. And it's just so many pink colors. I just thought it was so gorgeous. I'll put a picture of the original artwork in here so you can see it. I really just don't have one like this. And so I thought it would be really cool to do this one. Look at the flowers and the, um, there's lots of glowy lights in it as well. I thought maybe this would also be a good one to bling up with either some crystal rhinestones that I have or I also have some round ABs that I can add to it. See how there's like all these lights in here, like glowy lights in the flowers? I thought, you know, either ABs or crystals I could put in there and just kind of bling it up and make it a little bit uh, unique to to me <laughs> so the drill field looks clear and uh, like the symbols look clear there are a total of 43 colors in this one which is fantastic you can see here 43 colors they do have the DMC codes on here. That's nice. Let's take a look at the drills and we will also measure the size. Let's actually, let's do that first. So width wise, width wise, this is 50 centimeters. And I realize I'm doing that off camera, but yes, it is 50 centimeters for the whole thing. If we're just talking about the drill field though, let's look. We are at about 45. Okay. Lengthways, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it on camera all the way here, but let's do it anyway. So it should be about 80 and it is indeed 80 and let's look at the drill field though. So 80 for the whole thing and 75 for the actual drill field. So, so yeah. Uh, let's take a look at our drills here. Again, I, you know, I will insert, insert a picture. Um, so you can see what the original artwork looks like. Now I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like maybe this was, could possibly have been an AI produced artwork it gives me that vibe have you seen those like the ai produced artwork pieces i'm not sure but it just kind of gives me that vibe i'm really not sure but i've seen um there's a whole series of these flower castles and they all kind of give me that vibe that they're <laughs> like ai produced i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> In my mind, it makes sense. So there's going to be so many pinks and purples in here. It just makes my heart so happy. <laughs> Look at all those. Very beautiful. Round diamonds. Oh, look at that one. That's beautiful. Pinky purple. So yeah, I think I could like bling this up with some of my own flair. And that would look really cool. I don't know when I'm going to have time to work on all these, but it's fun to think about. <laughs> yeah. So, and then some very pretty green colors in here. My only, um, the only thing is that I don't uh, quite 
like is that um, with these, and I guess it's not a huge deal, but I wish they would give a printed sheet with the uh, colors and the codes because I can take that and make my own stickers to put on my bottles when I kit up. Right now there isn't anything like that. I'll have to make my own stickers. What I think I will do and what I have done in the past when that happens is I actually put this into my scanner and I like photocopy it and I print off a color copy of this on a piece of paper and then I run it through my Xyron sticker maker and make stickers that way and it's pretty easy it takes like 10 minutes <laughs> maybe so not a huge deal but it would be cool if they could just include you know a printed piece of paper <laughs> with the um the color codes and the symbols and everything on that would make kidding up really easy so if they could start doing that i would love that but hey not you know not a deal breaker it's not going to ever make me not order from somebody <laughs> because they don't have that but it's just one of those things that would be a nice touch so anyway that is my unboxing for fan cells um i am so excited to start working on these i will definitely do post review either pictures or video um it will definitely take me a while to work on some of these and but i'll let you know how it goes i'll let you know how this cross stitch goes <laughs> as well so thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for liking and subscribing i appreciate every single one of you i am having so much fun just sharing this hobby and um, just sharing my thoughts on it, but also hearing your thoughts, your opinions, what you like and don't like, what you pick, um, what companies you order from. So let me know in the comments below, uh, do you have any of these paintings? Have you ordered from fan cells? What companies do you like? Uh, let me know. I'm just always so interested to hear from everybody. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.